Latcher County is a, a county located here in, in Florida. Gainesville is the biggest uh, city within inside of Latcher County, houses the University of Florida. So we get to work with a lot of younger people, younger students. We have a vast variety of clients for the services that the county provides. Uh, the position I have here is a network security analyst. Been here 22 years. So we came off of another product called Alien Vault, which was a full-blown seam. It, was very complicated for some of the people that weren't used to looking at the packets each day. So Lumu simplifies that. It kind of just gives us, when we get the reports, it'll tell you either an IP or a website, tells you whether it's phishing, command and control. There's a whole bunch of other various things that it does. And it, the, the cool part is, is we can actually react to it versus having, spending more time reading what a packet's telling us and just look at the report and be able to make a decision quickly. So Lumu is superior to over a seam versus the fact the way that the reports come in. Again, the seam we get, we used to just get a packet and it would tell us to be able to like source destination and everything else. But then it gave you a lot of other complicated stuff that sometimes we didn't need to read. Lumu takes all that, automates it, sends us out the report with just the basic information. But what a cool thing is that I've noticed lately, now they're giving us more comma delimited files uh, so we can do it. I noticed I could actually go back and see the packets. So that was kind of cool and exciting feature that we didn't notice at first and as we were going through it and I was walking someone else through it, we, I was like, wait a minute, this is the packet, this is cool. So we're seeing new things. Uh, it's constantly being expanded and making it even more useful for the person that doesn't know how to look at a seam data and for the person that actually knows how to look at the seam data. On now on a day-to-day -day basis, what we'll do is uh, we have our web filter tied into it as well, so it kicks back. And I like the way that the Lumu does the uh, virus total and sends it out because that's typically where I will go back into and, and monitor those things. So we will block in our web filter. We build our database based on that. So we actually have a, a policy layer that says Lumu. So anything that we block in the Lumu side of it, we'll block it in the web filter. We also have some of the app plugins that they use, and it's uh, actually being active. So if it determines it, sends that text file up there and it's blocked on our firewalls. The most current incident that we were able to use the Lumu in, and it was very, uh, actually happened yesterday, there was a, we call it the cat, the kitty cam. It's nothing bad, It's it monitors these cats at animal services. Well, the whole project was kind of a throw together thing last minute. So, but just recently we noticed that the camera was, or the, that, that camera was going out and it was picking up peer to peer and it also was doing some weird traffic. So we got the alert in, we looked at it. Initially, we blocked all incoming traffic to it, but then we found out the camera was initiating the traffic. So then we, we went and started looking at some of the settings. We noticed the port, my boss in particular, uh, noticed it was on port 123, which is the, the time setting protocol port of it. So we went and looked and got the guy that was in charge of the camera, went inside the settings, shut off peer to peer, looked at a whole bunch of other settings, but. We did shut off peer-to-peer -peer and we did shut off the uh, time protocol and pointed it internal so it didn't have to go externally. Then people had their pretty cat pictures again. Luma helped us strengthen our uh, current security implementation of the process that we have right now. By It's an automated process for the most part, so we get the alerts and we're able to handle them. Most of the time when you see a Luma alert, we'll, in the email, we'll go handle that at an immediate thing, see if it's something that we have to run right away or if it's something that can wait depending upon what projects we do. The automated processes in the firewall is a, is a great uh, addition. Um, we do have it layered, so I don't think you can never have enough layers of security, honestly. So it gives us eyes when we're not constantly able to monitor the things that we do.